Alright guys, we've all wrestled here and today I have big news. Uh, if you're a do if you're a wrestling fan, you'll pretty much know what I'm gonna talk about. Everyone else is talking about it. The big signings WWE have made, that's gonna be the title. Huge signings, WWE, something like that. WWE recently, and it's been rumoured, but it's pretty much confirmed by this point. It isn't 100 percent confirmed, but it's pretty much confirmed. We know by the end, these four guys, four New Japan Pro Wrestling wrestlers are coming to WWE. Don't take my full on word that it's 100% confirmed. It's not 100% confirmed. I just think by the end of this, these four men will be in the WWE. And they are AJ Styles, so Alan Jones, Shinsuke Nakamura, who is the current IWGP Intercontinental Champion. So that's interesting. Um, Doc Gallows, so Luke Gallows, who's already been in WWE. And Carl Anderson. This is absolutely huge. This is one of the biggest signings WWE have done in absolutely ages. There is so many possibilities they could go from here. With the age of the guys, so with AJ being 38, with Nakamura being around 35, with uh, Carl Anderson being around 35, you are going to have to push these guys very quickly. I think that straight away, and what I'm hearing from the rumours, it seems pretty much sure, AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura are going to the main roster. That makes total sense. That makes absolute sense. With the Raw Rumble coming up, with the world title on the line in the Rumble, which I'll talk more about in my predictions when I have to do it, which is going to be a really cool Rumble this year, by the way. I'm actually really looking forward to it, considering I wasn't uh, the other day before they announced it. But... With AJ and Shinsuke Nakamura debuting in that Rumble, it already gives them a big platform to go out there and have a good show. They're not going to win the Rumble, I don't think, but it'd be a very interesting time. Another incredible debut idea I have is to have the four of them debut as the Bullet Club. This is, you know, it's probably the best independent faction there's ever been. As someone who's a fan of independent wrestling, not a thorough fan of independent wrestling, I wouldn't say I know the ins and outs of independent wrestling, but I'm a pretty big fan of independent wrestling. I watch my PWG, Chikara, CZW, a bit of ROH. Not too much into NJ, uh, NJ New Japan Pro Wrestling, sorry. I'm not too much into it, to be honest. I know Prince Devitt, obviously, Finn Balor. But um, as someone who's into independent wrestling, the Bullet Club are one of the big things you've always heard about. They span about eight different companies, and the constants are Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, AJ Styles, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Not Shinsuke Nakamura, sorry. Well, uh, yeah, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura. Debut these guys together at the Royal Rumble. Don't have them as a legal entrance in the match. Have it as a surprise. I think... You could do something that's slightly, you know, um, I guess a little bit cliche, but you could have the lights go out, maybe Reigns is in the ring on his own with Triple H or, or a Brock Lesnar or something like that. The lights go out, boom, they come back on and you see Styles, Nakamura, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson in the ring surround Roman Reigns. They take out Roman Reigns. They absolutely destroy Roman Reigns. And then, while before eliminating him, they go over to Triple H, pick him up, shake his hand, then they take out Triple H. Then they show... Well, actually, no, I'll take... Have them take out Brock Lesnar first. Take out Brock Lesnar, the man who is, hasn't been taken out this year, hasn't been taken out in the past two years, really. So, have them take out Reigns and then Lesnar, and then go to shake Triple H's hand, and then have the Bullet Club take out Triple H. There is no bigger entry for them. That makes perfect sense. Don't have them eliminate anyone from the Rumble. Have them take those men out and walk away. Do nothing. Don't have them entering in the Rumble. Just go in, take out Reigns, or a Lesnar, or a Cena, or possibly some of the big face guys, you know, the Dean Ambroses, the Dolph Ziggler. Have them take some of those guys out in the Rumble match but never officially enter. And then when they leave the ring, the matchup between whoever's in there, you know, your Reigns, your Lesnar, your Triple H, that can finish. And then the Bullet Club have made a major statement. They're not just here to be WWE superstars. They're here to take over the WWE. Have the Bullet Club, 
as guys who, in honesty, they've been competing with the WWE in their CZW, their NJPW. Uh, New Japan, their NJPW, yeah, sorry, it sounds what you want to say. NJPW. Um, you know, their CZW, their Ring of Honor. Have those guys, com- they've competed with the WWE in all these different companies. So have them go to WWE and say, you know what, we are better than the WWE. Because in honesty, these guys, Alan, I mean, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows. These are big stars. They don't need the WWE, in honesty. AJ and, and Nakamura could go up to the main roster completely fine and people would know who they are. But if you debut them in that manner, then even those who don't, and if you don't know Doc Gallows or Carl Anderson very well, uh, I'll give you a little bit of information, they're really good as a tag team. I think they're a fantastic tag team. Have them debut together like that, because then they are all known. Do you remember when The Shield debuted? Have something like that. The Bullet Club, this is an insane thing, and I am so excited, and you can tell by looking at me here, I am so excited for this Bullet Club. Um, a few things I just wanted to mention are that AJ Styles is now the third former TNA superstar to join. And he's actually another TNA original. So we've got Jane Storm, Samoa Joe, and AJ Styles. We've got the face of TNA. And that's why when I look at the four, you know, Doc Gallows is just a return, really. Carl Anderson, that's a good one. Shinsuke Nakamura is fantastic. But AJ Styles is Mr. TNA. He was the face. He was the brand. He was TNA's John Cena. AJ Styles said he would never come to TNA, but he did. I mean, to WWE, but he did. And I'm so in love with the idea of AJ Styles in WWE. AJ Styles is one of my favourite wrestlers ever, top five, easily. Absolutely love him. Uh, And a few other things I want to talk about. So, yeah, debut with the Rumble. Um, An interesting thing for another debut thing, they could have AJ and Nakamura debut in the Rumble, fine, maybe go their separate ways. I've always thought if they were going to do the Bullet Club, have Finn Balor come into the Bullet Club. Maybe come in and try to take command. We know AJ is going to be the leader, probably. That would make sense to have uh, Gallows and Anderson and Shinsuke Nakamura as the disciples. You need to have this team then take over and then Finn Balor needs to come in. And sort of, you know, stir the pot a bit. He wants to take back his... Finn Balor was the original leader of the Bullet Club. And he wants to take the Bullet Club back from AJ Styles. Who doesn't want to see AJ Styles versus Finn Balor for leadership of the Bullet Club? That would be freaking amazing. And with WrestleMania around the corner, there is so much they could do here. Uh, my other debut idea was have Nakamura and Styles debut in the Rumble, have uh, Gallows and Anderson debut in NXT as a tag team, because that tag team division is going to be losing some. It's going to be losing Blake and Murphy, probably, the Vaud villains. And with that, those two gone, and Enzo and Cass gone, uh, who should be up to the main roster pretty soon, feuding with the New Day, hopefully, you're going to need another tag team. You've got Dash and Dawson, you've got J- Jordan and Gable, but that's kind of it. So you're going to need a strong tag team. And Anderson and Gallows are a fantastic tag team. Really good tag team. I really like Anderson and Gallows. Um, uh, that's literally all I've got on that paper. Um, so, yeah, th- th- this, guys, this has just been my thoughts on it. I am super excited. If they pull off, that is what I would want for a Bullet Club debut. That debut is perfect, I think. I think it establishes them. You don't need them in the Rumble, in my opinion. They don't need to be official entrants, because I think that this needs to be a shock. This isn't one of those, like, you know when they did, you know, Kevin Owens is here, and Finn Balor's debut, and and Hideo Itami's debut? They were all big, and that's credit to them, and they all deserve that. But this one, I don't, this shouldn't be, this should be a shock. This should be a shocking debut. And if they debut in the Rumble like that, Yes, when the lights go out, you'll probably work out what's going to happen, but your jaw will be dropped. Your jaw will be dropped, and it will be stunning to see these guys. They do, I think, something could seriously come of this. I think this could be an absolutely amazing... Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. And just think of the matches. AJ Styles is going to be in the same company as John Cena. Think about that for a second. Mr. WWE versus Mr. TNA.
or Mr. CZW, or Mr. Ring of Honor. I, as you can tell, I'm so pumped. There is so much quality they could get out of this. This is the biggest talent bulk they have done in absolute years, probably since the NWL. So, what are your opinions? Uh, what do you think to the Bullet Club being signed? Do you think uh, it'll be a flop? I hope it isn't, but uh, I guess we'll never know. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. This has been Revolver Ocelot. I hope you're looking forward to the Bullet Club debuting, because I am.